production of The Wizard of Oz was a complete disaster. 1939's The Wizard of Oz is an iconic film based on L. Frank Baum's famous children's novel. I'm just going to give a fair warning, knowing some of the behind the scenes might change how you view the film. Firstly, the snow used in the famous poppy scene was actually asbestos. You know, the stuff from the commercials that can cause cancer if you're exposed to it. One of old Hollywood's dark secrets is that asbestos was used to mimic snow. Since it was fireproof and looked just like the real thing, it seemed to be ideal. Well, until all the health hazard stuff came out about it. Speaking of hazards, the actor who was originally supposed to play the Tin Man had a severe allergic reaction to the costume. Buddy Epson was allergic to the aluminum powder makeup and was eventually replaced after he was hospitalized in respiratory distress. And he wasn't the only one with a problematic costume. The green makeup that was used for the Wicked Witch of the West was copper-based and incredibly toxic. After her makeup was applied, the actress Margaret Hamilton couldn't eat in case she accidentally ingested it. She had to subsist on a liquid diet that she drank through a straw. Also, the cowardly lion's costume was a real lion pelt that weighed 100 pounds. The costume went for a staggering $3 million at auction in 2014. Filming days were long, and 17-year-old Judy Garland was encouraged to take pet pills to keep up with the demands. And yes, these pet pills were amphetamines. Judy was first given pills for both energy and sleep by her mother when she was a child actor. MGM, the studio who produced the film, was extremely worried about her weight. She was even referred to as a fat little pig with pigtails, and to keep her thin, she was placed on a severely restricting diet and monitored closely. Unfortunately, these weren't the only cruelties that she endured during filming. During the Cowardly Lion's entrance scene, Judy couldn't stop laughing. Seeing that they were wasting time and money with retakes, director Victor Fleming took her aside, slapped her, and told her, now go back in there and work. But apparently afterwards he felt so bad that he said someone in the crew should punch him for his behavior. Judy overheard and said, I won't do that, but I'll kiss your nose, which she did. I'll leave you with this. If you're thinking about watching the... I suppose sequel, 1985's Return to Oz? Don't. I've seen it, and I don't recommend you wasting your time watching it.